This is how to factory reset and then hard reset the Orbic. This is the Q10. Let's learn. So the first and probably one of the easiest methods is to do it internally. So if you want to just recycle your phone, give it to someone else, and you want to clear the data, the easiest way is to log into your phone. And let's go to settings. So I like to always go to settings. This way, look for the gears there. Now, inside of settings, I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom. At the second to last option is system. I'm going to touch system. Inside of system, the bottom option is reset options. And then the last option is erase all data factory reset. This will erase everything. Messages, downloaded apps, pictures, all history. And if you have your, uh, you'll, you'll still need your Google or your Gmail credentials, your login, your password to get back in the phone, even if you use the uh, erase all data factory reset. You touch that and then you touch erase all data and that will factory reset the device. That is method number one. Method number two, we're going to power the phone off. And this is in case something's going wrong with the device or you've forgotten your pin. Uh, or you just need to factory reset it for some odd reason. So this, this is method number two, and there's one more method after this. So in this method, we're going to use the external buttons, and this one is very, you have, to, you have to time it perfectly. As soon as you feel the vibration, you're going to let go of power, but keep holding volume up. So we're going to hold volume up and power at the exact same time. Hold, there's a vibration, I'm going to let go of power, but I'm going to keep holding volume up. And this will bring up the no command fallen Android. At the no command fallen Android, we're going to hold power, quick touch volume up. And this brings us to the Android recovery menu where you can go to wipe data factory reset. OK. And then one more time to confirm factory data reset. Again, wipe all user data. This cannot be a done. And the it still applies that if you've used your Gmail or Google credentials, you'll still need them to log back in the phone after you do this. So I'm going to come, I'm going to cancel out of here. I am going to power off the phone and we'll go to method number three in just a moment. All right, now for the last method, again, we're going to use the, have the phone powered off. All right, on this one, actually the volume down key works on this one, power and volume down. So let's hold them together, volume down and power. It's going to, the phone's going to power on. And then as soon as it powers off, we're going to continue holding volume down and let go of the power button. Right there. So continue holding the volume down. I might have missed it. All right, nothing's happening. Let's try again. I'm going to hold power and volume down. The moment it powers off, I'm going to let go of the power button. Right there. I continue to hold the... Oh, there it is. I continue to hold the volume down button. Okay, now it brings up a whole host of other menus. This is recovery mode, which is what we'll want, but in case you've touched the buttons, uh, there's a power off option, boot, boot, a start option, a restart bootloader, and then the recovery mode. This is what we want if you're factory resetting your device. I'm going to hit the power button now for OK. And it's going to bring up the fallen Android no command uh, option once again. And then same thing, we're going to hold the power button, quick touch volume up, and now we're back into the Android recovery menu. Let's go ahead and go through the process here. Wipe data, factory reset. We're going to push OK and then confirm one more time. Factory data reset, push OK. And then you always want to look and verify down at the bottom that the data wipe is complete. And now it is safe to reboot the system. And those are the three methods to factory reset your Orbic Q10. If this has helped you, please like, please subscribe, and thank you for watching.